Hi, and welcome back to another Harry's Hobbies video. And I'm continuing on with the uh, Seaview submarine, and I'm working on uh, step two. I'm doing some sub assemblies, so getting it ready for the priming and the painting and stuff. So, what I'll be doing right now is this is the uh, conning tower. And um, first thing I'm going to do is, is do the uh, do the flaps along this, that go along the side of the conning tower. And uh, first we start by getting them off the tree. And that's a pretty simple process. We just snip them off. And this is the first thing I'm going to do. Um, and then we're going to trim up where we just snipped off a little bit, like so. Keep those turned upside down because these little dudes, these guys are going to go on the inside. And they're going to fit in here. But I want to make sure that I get them lined up correctly. Now, what's going to happen is I'm going to go ahead and, and get these two assembled. And uh, I've got the glue right here. And I'm going to put drops of the, if it'll come out. There we go. Put drops of glue in each one of the, and you may wonder why I'm not going around the edges with this glue. And that's, uh, that's quite simple actually. And I'll explain that here in just a second. And then we take these pieces and we place them back in to their position. Get them to line up on their holes, like so. And again, we make sure that this gets lined up. And we press that in a position as well. Now, the reason that, uh, that I didn't add glue around the sides is because I'll be adding this. This is some contour putty. And uh, I'll be applying this with a toothpick to go around the seam that you see right here. And yes, I know, I know that this is the underside and you're probably not going to see much of it anyway. But you want to try to get rid of as much of the seams as possible. And this will also help hold this together right here. Yeah, dang it, a little hard to pick up. So we'll put this on here. Spread it out liberally. And I'm going to come back and sand this so I'm not concerned with uh, it being spread out because this is going to get sanded down after it dries and that's going to take uh, a little little bit of time. I usually like to let this stuff set for a few hours before I come back and hit it with the sandpaper so that that gives it plenty of time to, because even though the surface is, is going to dry quickly, and yes, you can go ahead and sand it if you, if you so desire at that point, but you'll run into uh, parts of the putty that are still uh, mushy and not set up. 
and then I'm going to just let that always put your cap back on so that it doesn't dry out and I'm going to let this uh, this dry before continuing this video so we're going to set those like that and uh, I'll leave it alone for a few hours and then we'll come back and uh, I'll do the obligatory sanding and you'll be able to watch that here right in this video it's going to be just a matter of seconds before this fires back up but it's actually going to be a number of hours so I'll explain that when I come back hi welcome back we're uh uh, back, well, actually I'm back, you're not back, so I shouldn't use we're, uh, working on the uh, conning tower, and what I did in the other video was I put on the uh, contour putty, and I let that get good and dry. Now what I've got in front of me here is, I have three different sandpapers, each one's a different grit. And uh, what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to sand this down and get it nice and smooth. And uh, we'll take things from there. So, and here we go. So I've got uh, these sanded down and they're ready to uh, go under the conning tower which I haven't assembled yet and the conning tower will be coming up with its assembly here, here pretty shortly so uh, that's uh, that'll be coming up so I hope you're enjoying this um, it's taken me the drying time for that was about three hours uh, four hour give or take somewhere around in there and um, obviously the sanding didn't take long. Fortunately, the sanding part will be, you know, down. But I still like to uh, have it looking halfway decent. So, the conning tower will be up next. And welcome back to more on the uh, conning tower. And uh, what I'm continuing with today, or now, since this is kind of in the same video, I've already done the sail planes, is what they're called, I guess. And I have those ready to go. Now I have to get uh, the actual part of the tower ready to go. And this has got some clear windows. And this is the first shot of uh, the windows. And the uh, first uh, LED and we're going to get the uh, windows installed. It'll take a little bit of glue. And these kind of pop right into place but you just want to make sure that they're the right orientation before you drop them into place and force them down onto the glue and uh, with these particular windows I'm not too concerned with uh, any kind of crazing taking place because I want it to kind of fog out just a little bit because I'm going to uh, add a clear color to the windows itself and then I'll add the uh, LED and this goes together like this 
And I didn't get that window all the way down in there. There we go. Now she's all the way down in there. And like I said, this goes together like so. And this works out pretty good. Because I'm going to, uh, after I get this assembled, I'll be able to add an LED. There's plenty of room, as you can see, to add an LED on the inside. So I'll get the, uh, I've got a new bottle of liquid cement here that I'm using. And I'm going to run a little bead right along here. Come on, he doesn't want to cooperate sometimes. Needs a little bit of coaxing to come out. And then I'm going to put a little drop in each one of these. For a little extra holding power. And run a little bead right along this edge. Because this is the back edge of the tower. And then we place both of these pieces together. And these pieces did, this lines up quite nicely. They've done a good job with the molding and uh, where everything lines up and how the pieces go together. There's not a lot of uh, distortion or anything from the molds being older or have been used, you know, thousands upon thousands of times. And once again, I'll be running a running a light bead right along here. And then I'm going to take a toothpick and spread this out just a little bit. Because we want a good bond. But we don't want, uh, don't want a lot of oozing. I know I'm going to do a little bit of sanding on this. Because there will be a little bit of oozing of the glue out. And like I said, these pieces, it, it's, uh, it's quite nice how they go together. Without much, uh, without forcing it, what I'm doing right now is I'm just waiting on some glue to dry. 
or at least to get set up. Alrighty, and then we've got that. But, but just to be on the safe side, I'm going to uh, just throw a rubber band on here while everything sets up. And that'll hold hold this this piece back here was doing a little bit of splaying out, and I want to uh, continue on and get these set up so that they're ready to go. And then I'm going to let everything set up and get uh, get good and dry. And then this will be uh, this will be ready for painting. And uh, what I'll do is, is I'll paint, I'll add the blue to, I'm going to be using a clear blue on those windows, and that'll give, uh, give a nice glow. when the lights are on when the models complete and the lights are on the uh, the blue lights that'll be the, well the clear blue that'll be on these windows will provide a very nice glow and hopefully it'll be subtle enough that it's not going to be really super bright but it'll just be a just be a glow to it so we've got that uh, so that that step is uh, complete and it'll be ready to be painted so i hope you enjoyed uh, watching this i know it's three parts but uh, that's that's the way it works out sometimes so hope you enjoyed it and there'll be more to follow thanks Thank you.